A bandpass filter is one which allows only a specified band of frequencies to pass through it. So therefore, a bandpass filter for a woofer signifies that it will allow frequencies ranging from 200Hz to 2kHz. Now I will make this bandpass filter using multiple feedback topology. A multiple feedback topology is a very popular topology used to make active filters and I will use an op-amp as, as the active component. There is a very good document from analog devices which you let you know about the, the theory, the transfer functions and other things. You can definitely read that. Link will be in description. Now I will now use an online calculator tool to determine the values of R and C for my center frequency. The center frequency formula is Fc equal to square root of F1 into F2 where the F1 is the lower cutoff frequency is 200 Hz and the F2 is the upper cutoff frequency is 2 kHz. So putting them in the formula gives us a center frequency of around 630 Hz. So putting a R value of 3.3 .3 kilo ohms and a C value of 100 nanofarad we get a center frequency of around 680 hertz also you can use the 33 kilo ohms and uh, 10 nanofarad which will also give the 680 hertz as a center frequency so this this center frequency will work just fine and i can go with this r and c values so now i have made the circuit using KiCad software so as you can see since this is a, a dual supply circuit so i have uh, i have to use a register divider to make up for those uh, dual voltages now the first op amp gives a gain of minus 4 and the second op amp is set up as the multiple feedback bandpass filter which is set in the inverting configuration and also i have a load register of around 1 kilo ohm the value is not critical though so now i have used the multi sim online to do a rough simulation of the circuit as you can see I am varying the input frequency and as I vary the frequency you can see the corresponding output which peaks at around 680 Hz and again diminishes so I am uh, I am fine with this uh, with this circuit and I, I have go good hopes with this circuit so therefore I I have directly made the PCB I didn't uh, try it on the on the breadboard and I have directly made the PCB so as you can see I, am, I have made, uh, designed the PCB using the KiCad software and I have used the ground plane so therefore I have I haven't did any star grounding but if you are not using any ground plane then you have to use the star grounding where you need to converge all the ground tracks into a single point not daisy chaining the the ground points after uh, bringing out the PCB using tuner transfer method so my final circuit looks like this as you can see on the screen so the circuit I have made out now I will use my smartphone as a function generator and I have set up my DSO and I will do a frequency sweep so as you can see I am doing a sweep from 1 hertz to uh, 10 kilohertz so the resultant the resultant waveforms you can see on the on the screen so my circuit works pretty pretty much as I expected and also I have noted down the values both from the from the multi sim simulations as well as from the experimental from, from the experiment hardware so you can see the, the gain the gain factors for the corresponding frequencies I have noted down and then plotted the, the body plot in the excel so as you can see both the both the curves were looking almost similar so the simulated one is almost matching with the uh, with the experimental hardware setup so therefore my circuit is working just fine and i can directly use it with an amplifier and then i can attach a woofer so that i can hear the the mid range sounds so my circuit is successful and i hope you have learned a lot of from this video if you have any confusions please do comment and do like share and subscribe to my channel